Can I hear the kids do that even louder? Lishana Tova. Excellent. How about everybody? Lishana Tova. It is so wonderful to see all of you at the start of this new year. Last week, we had the very, very, very beginning of the new year with Rosh Hashanah. And then here we are back together again on Yom Kippur because a lot of us made some mistakes last year. How many of you were as nice as you possibly could have been all of last year? <laughs> How many of you were as kind as you possibly could have been last year? How many of you could have done a couple of things a little bit better last year? Pretty much everybody. And if your hand's not up, there's another reason you need to be here today. So part of what we do at the very beginning of the year is we look back over the last year and we try to figure out what we could have done to be a little bit kinder, a little bit more loving, a little bit more patient. How many of you sometimes can struggle with patience? My parents are here. They'll verify that this is true. There is a special prayer that's said only once a year as the sun's about to fall and it's about to become Yom Kippur. And it's a powerful, powerful prayer. It's actually written in, not in Hebrew, but in Aramaic. And it talks about how important it is when we promise something to try to keep our word. But that sometimes, no matter how hard we try, we're not able to do that. And so we need to say to the person, I'm sorry, I tried and I tried and I tried and I hope you'll forgive me. And it sounds like this. Which means, do not hold us to our promises to you, God, if we can't keep them. For we mean really well when we make promises. But you know, we're each only human. And human beings sometimes forget. Sometimes we promise more than we can actually do. Sometimes we just make mistakes. So allow us to be forgiven.